Hey guys, it's MacLar65 and I have a haul video for you guys today. Um, really this haul video is from Mac and one thing from Victoria's Secret, which I have to tell you guys about because girls need to know about it. And some stuff that I got for Valentine's Day from my boyfriend, so yeah. Anyway, let's go ahead and get on to the haul. First thing I got for Valentine's Day was uh, this ring. It's, I think it's white gold is what my boyfriend said. Um, and it's got like a ruby heart in the middle, but it looks like this and it's really, really pretty and it's just so cute. He always picks so well, which is kind of surprising since he's a guy. No offense if you're a guy, just most guys can't pick jewelry for girls. But, um, yeah, it's just like a twisted band and, um, it's got like a heart here. And then if you look underneath here, it has like some type of like funky design, but I just thought it was really, really pretty. And then he also got me this Hello Kitty, because I love Hello Kitty, and he calls me his honeybee, so he got me a little honeybee outfit, so he has little wings, and it's super, super cute, and it's like he got it from Build-A-Bear, and he actually took me to go build it, so I loved it, it was awesome. Really what he did was, it was a kind of a surprise, he picked me up from my house and took me to Build-A-Bear, and he's like, hey, build a Hello Kitty, and I just thought really that's what, he got me flowers, which I'll insert a picture of my flowers. And then he took me to build a bear, and he let me make a bear. And I was super, super excited about that. Of course, I thought that we were done and that we were just going to watch a movie at his house. And then my mom dropped by and dropped off some of my dresses, which I'll also insert a picture at the end of the video of some of my Valentine's Day pictures and stuff. But um, she dropped by some of like one of my dresses, and I was like, what are you doing? And she's like, well, you'll see. And so he's like, put on a dress. So I put on one of my dresses, and um, then we drove to dinner, and he took me to a very fancy restaurant, which I was very excited about because it was one of my favorite restaurants. And so then he took me to dinner, and then he gave me um, that ring. And he also has a honeybee necklace coming in. It's um, it's solid gold or something like that. I got from Valentine's Day for him, and I'm so lucky that I have a boyfriend that is such a good gift giver and loves me so much so now we'll get on to the max I won't show things that are like really quote underwear type stuff on my YouTube account from Victoria's Secret but I just had to um, say this if you're a guy girls wear bras if you didn't know that hopefully you did otherwise it's just weird but yeah girls wear bras so um yeah so anyway I was at Victoria's Secret and I needed a strapless bra and I feel that bras, I can show them this because it looks like a swimsuit. I'm ranting, but yeah, I don't want to offend anyone, so sorry if I offend you. I don't know how I could offend you, but sorry if I do. Um, but I needed a strapless bra, and I went in and I was like, okay, I need a strapless bra. Because most of the time, girls know with strapless bras, they slip down, and they're not comfortable. And it's just, ugh, you're just like a strapless bra now. So, but the lady at Victoria's Secret said that this strapless bra was awesome. It's black, but on the inside, it's like sheepskin. So it won't slide. It'll grip, you know, what's going on up top and it won't slide. So if you're looking for a good strapless bra, go try this out. Um, I think, what is it called? Biofit? Multiple ways or something like that? That's all that I've gathered from this. But it also comes with clear straps too, which is a plus. So that was what I got from Victoria's Secret. And then I went to my local Mac, which everyone loves Mac. Mac just like makes me happy inside. Like, People get happy by pu with puppies. I get happy with makeup. Yeah, I was so excited. Like, you have no idea. Okay. I'm calm now. But I'm going to show you what I got from Mac. Mac. And I went back because they have some awesome new collections that just came out. Um, they had the Mac Cook, Mac, Mac Shop. Well, Mac Shop. I don't know. Mac Cook. No. Cook Mac, Mac, Shop Mac collection. There, I got it. It's a really confusing collection. But, um... I got a palette and a few other things from there. I don't really remember. It's in one of my previous hauls. But um, I loved their collection. It was awesome. And I really, really, really wanted a Tender Tone from them. I have heard so many good things about Tender Tones. And I've been dying to try one. So I just got one, which I got in Hush Hush. And the packaging is uber cute. So, yeah. Super cute packaging. And, yeah. And this was $14.50. So, like a lipstick. And this is in Hush Hush, and it is so pretty. It is just like a nice, just 
goldy color and if you really like them then I plan on getting some more but I just want to try one since I've never tried a tender tone before but it smells like kind of like a lip smacker I feel like it's like that strawberry like kiwi smell it smells really good and it gives you like just this nice glossy look which I love it's more of like a champagne color so I love this a lot so hopefully MAC will come out with more tender tones and I need to get my hands on some more tender tones so so far I really like it but time will tell. And then the new Nicki Minaj lipstick came out. A lot of people will know, I think that the last one was like Pink Friday or something. Don't quote me on the name. I don't really remember. I just remember a Nicki Minaj lipstick came out. It was a hot bubblegum pink. And I wanted it so bad. But by the time I got there, it was sold out and I was really sad. But this new Nicki Minaj lipstick came out. And it's um, the, the Glam Nicki Minaj. And it says it's a satin. But it looks more like a matte to me when I put it on. Because I have it on right now. It came across more as a matte, so I'm going to put Hush Hush over the top. But it looks like that, as you can see. And I would really highly suggest, if you are thinking about getting this lipstick, go in and swatch it on your skin tone because it will come up differently on everyone else. It looks more like a coral pink to me, I think. But as you can see, that's what it looks like. I think it looks more like a coral pink to me. I don't know. That's what it just looks like on me, so, yeah. But I really like this lipstick. It is very, very pretty and very unique, so I don't have any colors like that. I think it would look awesome on tan people, which I'm spray tan right now, so I'm, like, tan lying. Yeah, I'm tan lying. And, um, but during the summertime, I think it would be an awesome summer color, like, to wear during the summertime, I guess, like, if you're lounging by the pool and, you know. And then I got some fake eyelashes because I broke my fake eyelashes. These are number fours, I think. I don't remember. They just said it was like fours. And they look like that. But I love them. I love fake eyelashes. I'm really kind of getting into this fake eyelash kick. So, keep sliding out. These are bugging me now. And then I got this new concealer. And it's from their new mineral collection. And this is an NC25. I'm never that dark, but I got it for when I was tan. But I like the packaging a lot better than their old packaging. But it seems like I have it on now, and the lady at the store had it on. She says it covered her dark circles very, very well, and it looks like that. And that it's not like as a dry, it's not drying, but it's kind of wet, but it won't make your mascara run kind of stuff. But she said that you want to set it with a powder, so... I figured I'd try it because I don't have concealer for when I'm tan. Well, I do, but it's the Makeup Forever Concealer, which I was obsessed with it. But then for some bizarre reason now, I'm not really, like, loving it. I love my Bobbi Brown concealer the best so far. So, yeah, this is really, really pretty, but it's the Mineral Concealer. And it looks really watery, but I'm rambling. And the last thing that I got from MAC is a Pro Glide Intense Eyeliner which I've become obsessed with this. It's from the Butterfly Collection. I cannot remember the name by the life of me, but um, I got it in a blue, and I love it. It looks gorgeous on your waterline, especially if you have brown eyes. It's going to make your brown eyes pop. And they have some really cool colors. Actually, they're still in my hand, like right there. Those are the other colors. I swatched them. I want to, like, swatch Gabby. But this is an industrial, and it looks like that. And it is that swatch right there it's like the blue in between the purple so yeah it's right there i just swatched it right there but yeah it's really really pretty so i figured it'll look really pretty underneath the waterline as well and i really like these so hopefully when they stop selling these like yeah when they stop selling these they'll come out with another collection that i can get them from and I feel like I'm talking really slow. I don't know why. I just feel like I'm just kind of dragging or whatnot. But yes. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please like the video. Please subscribe. And leave a comment down below. Follow me on Twitter. And I will see you guys later. Have a fantabulous day, guys. Bye.